Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you about some of the black culture, black power, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, I came from a tribe called Tutsi. Tutsi people came from the Horn of Africa a long time ago. And then, over the years, we were mixed with different tribes, Nilotic and then the Bantus. And even some uh, ancient people who are the hunter-gatherers. So we are basically mixed of all those good stuff, all those beautiful uh, African people, that's us. So I came from a Tutsi tribe called Banyamulenge. Banyamulenge people, they live in Congo, that's, that, that is the heart of Africa. So if you need to know more about genetics, look at uh, my video which is called, titled uh, Tutsi DNA. So you can see more about uh, who are we. So we are basically mixed of different good stuff, good African people. So we are fully African. As you can see my physical appearance, I look on African. But at the same time, you can see some sort of uh, nihilotic people from uh, Kenya. And then at the same time, you can see some um, uh, Bembe people like Shia Langwa, Shia Minji in me. So we have a lot of good stuff. We are mixed people. So today I'm going to, tell, to, tell, to talk to you about the Tutsi culture. So I can summarize everything, but today I'm going to focus on uh, this thing right here. So this is what my ancestors used to drink milk and water from because they were super intelligent human being. They didn't believe in plastic like modern days. They could have, have done those things. But they, they knew that was not good for the environment. That's why they designed this thing. This is called Inghongoro. Inghongoro is used to store milk. And then this is the lid. This specific lid I'm showing you was made by my grandma from mama side basically my mom's mom made this thing i'm holding right now this is very special you know what i'm saying so very very special i'm gonna protect it as long as i can so i can always remember my grandma so she made this you see it's beautiful beautiful so one of the reason uh we used to to, to need this of course is to protect this against uh, germs or bugs coming into your milk, coming into your water, whatever you have in here. So as you can see, this is a high-tech technology, you know? It's beautiful wooden stuff, but used to store stuff. As you can see, it's huge. So when we drink milk from this thing, we do like this. You put your hands on the bottom. And then, after drinking, we always do like this. In the middle of eating, we eat, we eat, and then you take the lid out, hand here, drink, grab food. So we are very, very, very respectful culture. As you can see, there's no way opening stuff all the time. You know, we have to close, drink, close, eat, just like that. So. This is in Hongor. So, long time ago, even till today, for the milk to taste good, the Banyamulenge people and the Tutsi in general, I don't know much about the other Tutsi, but specifically for the Banyamulenge, uh, to wash this after milk, we, we clean this first with cow urine. Yes, I repeat, cow urine. So every morning when the cows wake up, when they are peeing, uh, the young boys will go with this thing, uh, grab the cow urine and, and make a big one, uh, I mean, put in in the camp. And then uh, they will wash with cow urine first and then they will rinse with water. And sometimes they use dust from the uh, fire camp to wash this with dust and then cow urine and then water. And then what they want is that smell of cow urine, you know, when they go drink milk, they smell that smell, it's what makes milk taste good. 
especially if they didn't clean well and they still can taste the bitter of the cow urine that is what makes milk special that kind of uh, smell that kind of uh, bitter and sweetness mixed with bitter urine mixed with uh, milk tasting like sweet it's beautiful it, it does taste sweet I know but if you're from a different culture you probably think like those are gems that nasty but it's not nasty so and that is the culture so we've been maybe that's protected us from getting sick from who knows when mix and cow urine are mixed together you know most of the time what we think is terrible and gems and bad for you is not always the case sometimes it might be actually good for your health but that's how my ancestors did it and we never get sick from it so we can't judge it so this is in Hongoro but this one is small one some are bigger so the small one is called Akadet 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 and the big one is called Chance Chance it Chance it Chance Akadet and then it Chance they all have this lead this lid is called umtemeri, umtemeri. Then you put umtemeri here, and then you're good. Sometimes when we come from milking the cows, we kill milk like this. Oh, that is how things are done from Tutsi culture. So, over the summer, I needed to go back to the Horn of Africa to figure out which tribe we came from. It's gonna be like a documentary. I'm gonna spend like a month. I'm gonna visit the different tribes: Afar, Tigrenya, Amarinya, Oromonya, Waloita, uh, different tribes, different tribes. And then I'm gonna make a scientific conclusion because you know I need to find out. Not just assuming. Most people think it's Oromo, but. Uh, I need to go to see the Oromo people. Do they have this? Do they have this? Do any tribe have this stuff? Because for some reason, I even think some Weloita people, you know, when I see their houses, it's traditional uh, Tutsi kings' homes. The way they're round, with the, with the way they are built, 100%. Tutsi king, but again, we are all East Africans, so maybe we all practice that culture. That they have to, just because we have the same uh, similar culture doesn't mean we are from the same because most of the people we practice the same culture. But I need to do more extra, extra hard work to find exactly who are my ancestors. You know, is it Oromo? Is it Waloita, Tigrinya, Somali, Afarinya? Marina, I need to find out. So that is the Tutsi culture. Leave your comments below if you have a question, and then we can, if you have any question, anything you can tie this to any tribes in Ethiopia. Also, look at my hand. Uh, my hand, as you can see, I have those bands. Like, let me put Kongoro down. Put Kongoro down. You see this thing? One, it's like we burn with our fire. We burn, we burn our hands. So basically, you put the leaves of the tree. You you spit on your your arm. You put leaf here. You put fire on top. You just burn yourself. You know. You see those uh, scars. So those stars are just from burning myself as a part of the culture. So our ancestors they believed if you don't have this. You can't drink milk or if you drink milk the cows will die or whatever stupid ancient cultures but when i did this it was not still being practiced but i did it because i just want to look like my grandparents and my grandmothers because they all have it but the new generation and they don't have this and most people they hadn't known this unless those who lived in a uh, minembu area along and they also want to look like their grandparent. We did this not because it was required, but because we just want to hand our culture. And I was like nine years old when I burned all those burned. So the process of burning this, it's like, um, this is called Inhoka. So when I went to Ethiopia, I see people with this. They still practice this culture. Ethiopians, for real. So 
my point is which tribe does this thing one of the men who has this thing when i asked him he told me he was amhara so is it just to see and amhara people who, who burn their hands like this you know so those are things i'm going to be looking at all those things because this is like ancient ancient tutsi culture of burning yourself nowadays they don't practice it but i got it so to the power so when i go there over the summer ethiopia i'm gonna have to focus on every single details whatever i can think of so if you know people who practice this leave your comment below because those are the tribes i might they might be my first target to go visit in the horn of africa and people who who have lot of cows like oromo waloita those people can be also my first targets to visit. Uh, do they have any ancient uh, uh, equipment to drink milk from or oh, water? <laughs> you see this line? Oh la la. This is beautiful, beautiful. So that's it for today, guys. Subscribe and let these things go because this summer is going to be the best summer of my life. I'm gonna find out that I am Oromo, I am Somali, I am Awaloita, I am... So my first tribe, I think the most is Oromo. Number one, number two, Waloita. Number three, Tigrinya. Number four, Amhara. Number five, Somali. I don't know why they come in that order, but no. Actually, it's Oromo, Tigrinya, Afa, even if is included, I don't know exactly, but uh, I need more suggestions. People from the Horn of Africa, leave your comments here because I need to go find out uh, where my ancestors came from before they went to Central Africa. So, thank you so much. And hit like, subscribe, support. Let me go to find out my origin.